Welcome everybody to this tutorial. In this tutorial we want to talk about advanced database and we want to discuss the topic of IO cost. So we have here uh, we, uh, mainly we talk about indexing and storage and uh, we have a uh, six type of storage that we use in saving and uh, indexing in database. We have the heap, we have the sorted files, we have all the sorted heap, we have the cluster tree, we have the unclustered tree, we have unclustered hash, we have clustered hash. Okay, so first thing we have some uh, uh, some variables we rely on an, in, into our calculation or comparison between different coasts. Uh, we have B, which is the number of page. D is the average read speed per page, and uh, we have uh, the C, which is the average uh, read or access speed per record. We have the R, which is the number of records per page, and we have the P, which is the page size, uh, which is 4KB or 8KB, 8000. So these are the basic things. Uh, we have these six uh, structures the heap, the sorted, and cluster tree, and cluster tree, or P plus, of course, B plus tree. And we have the unclustered hash index, the cluster hash index. So we have different comparison based on scan, equality search, range search, search, and uh, insert and delete. So mainly before before we get started, uh, let's focus here about the the main advantages of using each one of these. We have different structures. Each one has a, a, a feature or a special feature, but an order file or uh, the file the heap that we we say here the heap is best if and only if we have a full file scan so as you can see here uh, it took us uh, b times d okay so we have a b times d when we have a full uh, uh, file scan but when we're talking about hash hash is very nice and w when we have an indexed file and it's the most common operation is equality so when we have an equality selection the hash is best and a sorted file which is the second element here in the table is best okay if we have a range selection okay and the data is static so we have a range selection okay in the C here and we have a data is static data is fixed but in other hand the clustered B tree which is number three here is best if range selection are important and the data is dynamic but an unclustered B tree which is number four is best when and useful for selection over small ranges so when we have a small ranges uh, especially if we need a cluster on another search key to support com some common query so it's about selectivity when the data are uh, 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 small we have a high selectivity so when data are small and we have a high selectivity we need to use the uh, uh, uncluster B plus especially when we have a uh, 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 when we have to use cluster and other search key to support some common query. So this is pretty much uh, the first introduction about um, uh, you know the, 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 the different IO comparison cost between these six structures. Okay so before we get started in talking about this table uh, let's I want to let you see something here first thing we have uh, an array so in order to insert uh, let's say values into an array as you can see here we uh, we check the previous value get the where we got a free space and we insert so you can come here and uh, try and insert a new value like 4 so we insert at the end. In order to delete a value, you just come here and say, I just want to delete 4. So I delete 4. I want to delete other thing like S or let's say R. Go delete R. 
and then make a shift for the whole array entire array so this is for array so this array might be sorted might be unsorted okay so let's change to order load data so we have now a sorted array so as you can see here we using uh, uh, we using the sorting and in sorted array you can see here we can uh, remove a value for example n okay you can uh, find a value q okay you see it's mu it, it is much faster than the unordered array or okay so let's now move on we talk about heap and which is n uh, which is a table heap is just a table that has no cluster index so this is what we do we mean by heap so we don't have indexes we don't have uh, indices we just have a table without any indices without clustered indices okay we have a an ordered heap and we have a sorted heap so we see in the previous example how is the process is done let's now move to the cluster tree we have a b plus or let's say b plus tree so in b plus tree we have order so let, let me just insert the values here at b plus tree as you can see here we just need to construct the tree every time we add a new value we need to rebuild and rebalance the tree so uh, we have a like you say here we have a uh, the the smaller value is to the left and the big the bigger or the um, bigger value to the right and this is what do you mean by uh, b tree in order to find an element let's say you want to find o so as you can see here i just need two operation this is the first this is the second okay in our in our array i need uh, many operation one two three four five six seven eight more than uh operation but here because we're talking about search we have a log n or uh, you know log n so we have just two levels so we just take two to the power uh zero or two to the power one we just need two operation in order to find a value in the let's say d i need three jumps in order to so it's, it's much much faster in order to remove let me remove a value for example let me remove h okay as you can see here we just find it took three and we just delete it using the uh, uh, rebalance operation so this is, this is pretty much for the b tree uh, in order to insert let me insert f so as you can see here element is already we need to insert something that is not in the tree let me insert h so you can insert any value but i don't want to do that for now this is just for implementation uh last thing i want to show you is the hash hash is a is a you know we have a hash function so we have a function that uh as you can see here we inserted this value we have a hash function this ha this ha this hash function <laughs> is working on uh, the uh, special uh, key search value for example we have a hash function uh, that map us to the special cell okay for here example 0 99 uh, this is a result of the hash function and uh, as you can see here we, we have many value related to one index here uh, we need to make a linked list to that uh, 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 you know to that related list so here we have 12 you insert the same value the same file you insert it again as you can see here we have the same function so as you can see here we just linked all the new value to the hash related hash function hash function is very good in in in, in, uh, in the a process of uh, uh, direct or equality search when you need to search for three you just type three 
you just search you you know it's it's very very and uh, much quicker than others other methods when you need to insert um, you can insert for example four as you can see here you have a direct insert okay when you need to remove you need to search so let me just remove say 27 so we remove 27 but as you can see much slower okay it's much slower than uh, uh, other um, we can see here in the table that when we use an uh, unclustered hash we use clustered hash we have a different uh, number five and number six we have a, a different comparison in, in the delete operation so in the delete operation we need to search okay that mean we need 2d and we need other 2d uh, because we want to read and delete so we need other 2d so this is require us 4d in the unclustered hash index number five but when you want to insert we have the same thing 4d for range search for example I, I didn't show you a range search sometimes you need to search for range search in unclustered hash index it's the same as the heap you need to search the entire uh, you just like scanning okay so you need to scan the entire file and search the entire file so we say b times d okay but for equality search in the unclustered hash index we not we just need 2d as you can see in the previous example we just directly get the record okay but unclustered hash index is different than a clustered hash index okay because it required 1d in the in the cluster hash index and there it requires us 2d so we're talking about clustered and unclustered so wh what do we mean by clustered and what do we mean by unclustered you know first two here first two structure the heap and the sorted heap are they, they are I, I, we didn't talking about indices here okay so that's why we don't have the word index in the first two but when we're talking about indices we're talking about clustered and cluster when we're talking about clustered we mean that each table have one primary key okay and we just have one primary key for each table so why wh why we have a one primary key or one clustered index because when you sometimes you need to make a select select operation on a table and sometimes let's say we have a table of employees and this table has an employee ID and you know employee ID for example start from uh, 100 100 100 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and so forth okay so sometimes you need to select all the employees with their numbers and bring him bring them to the screen as a result of execution of a query okay so suppose that you want this result to be sorted okay so I use clustered because clustered auto sort the, uh, uh, the auto sort the, the, the query or you know I don't need to use the group by or order by when you I don't need to use uh, order by in using the cluster tree okay this is pretty much fast okay so you just type select you just get a sorted data because it's clustered okay and you can't have more than one clustered index because you can't do two sort or two ordering of the sort at the same time you just say sort ascending descending you can't do th the two operation together so that's why we have just one operation for cluster tree index okay so y you know you just say select but it notes here in search or uh, in search we add a pretty much a lower